It's been more than 24 hours and firefighters are still battling flames at a warehouse off Paper Mill Road in Mobile. At this time, Mobile Fire Rescue says they still don't know what caused the fire. And this is not the first time that warehouse has gone up in flames. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis firefighters say the building's dilapidated structure is playing a role in how quickly and safely they can put this fire out. Yeah, that's right, Kim. District Chief Scott Carmichael says Mobile Fire Rescue has gone through roughly 3 million gallons of water trying to fight this fire. It all started yesterday around 5 o'clock p.m. when Mobile Fire Rescue responded to a large fire at the Merchants Transfer Warehouse off of Paper Mill Road in Mobile. 24 hours later and that fire is still burning. We were unable to reach the seat of the fire in the very center of the building because of the dilapidated nature of the structure due to all the heat exposure from the fire. Mobile Fire Rescue sourced a contracting company and since 3.30 in the afternoon Thursday, they've been bringing in heavy machinery. Our plan is to start dismantling the building and that will give us access to the areas of fire. Uh, it'll make it safe for firefighters to operate inside. He says their plan throughout the night will be to continue to work with contractors to gain whatever foothold they can to extinguish the fire. Otherwise, just keep the fires at bay until tomorrow morning, at which time we'll rotate more personnel in at 7 o'clock and the contractors will begin working the machines again until all of the unsafe metal structure has been taken down and then they'll begin to dismantle the pockets of fire. And this isn't the first time this warehouse has gone up in flames. Back in February of 2021, the warehouse burned for three days. The uh, business owners are very willing to work with us to, uh, they don't want this to happen, we don't want this to happen. Obviously, the origin and cause needs to be investigated. Mobile Fire Rescue persistent to put out this fire working in rotating shifts because not only is it hot inside, but it's also hot outside. Fires are hot by nature, everybody knows that, but uh, when a firefighter comes out of a fire and takes their fire gear off, that is the chance for them to cool off. And obviously the weather we're getting this week is not allowing us to do that. Our firefighters are uh, very fit for uh, this kind of work, this kind of stress on the cardiovascular system. Uh, but even so, it just means we have to rotate personnel more frequently. What caused this fire? Well, firefighters don't know just yet, but they will be investigating. The good news is no one has reported any injuries. For the latest updates on this story and more, be sure to follow NBC 15 on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on mynbc15.com.